The world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. Dirty long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. You're not getting any mead. Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> The ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Stig at the can stones his dad gave today? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. Thank you, Eivor. 
Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. Ah. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then's me, I forth will bring. For noble deeds that honor sing. Ah. Ah. The brave men slain, Valkyria waves. Rewards for strain to our little takes And horns resound the mighty horns For those who fight For those who fight Ready yourself, men! Not you, Eva. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
same DNA. Not Fix sure this why. Or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. Seventeen winters? Eighteen. Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave. Humiliated. Your death would be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver! Uh, to the ship! Uh. And I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now what did I just tell you? <laughs>
is in danger. I need to reach them. Hmm. Better. Kjotvis men. I need to be careful. Be my eyes, Sunan. Clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Thank you, old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today, he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davals Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. 
a far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Shepherds warriors crawl through Arvel's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. They will attack on sight here. <laughs> the longhouse. The crew should be inside. There should be an opening in the roof. And my act want to make a mess of it. Fuck out. Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice... Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I will sell you to hell herself! Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? That is no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. I cannot well thank thought, you enough, Kist. 
Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell... Enough!
Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Judge his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying at bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Thank you. 
course you will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotun's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. We'll have to row here, Eivor! the ship here. Lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had... Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Thank you, Eivor. Now I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Hate me, be my eyes. Eivor, looking rough you are. Welcome home. Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. 
Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Er vanmitt að friski kaupmaðurinn kemur aftur bráðlega. Mér skortar mér dásamlega í nálega. Sjá! 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 Think you can match horns with me? Drink every one of you. Don't feel bad. Most of these back crowds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Is there this no land one will never will cross around with while clan Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war, even among the gods. When Midgard the one. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. You do it. Anything else? Do you need anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. 
But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Svein. Sure. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will spit... Bad? Not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... Remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will make you regret what you've taught me today. I haven't taught you enough if you think that line works. Where's the rhyme? There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Come! A little dice never...
Ah, Orlok. Sit, sit, the dice... Let's do this, then. Straight into the point. May the best hand...
Interesting. Like this. Now. 